is going on everybody welcome back to salt marsh sunday uh just backing out of the marina here backwards because that's the way the wind wanted us to go um but just wanted to wish a very happy mother's day to all the moms out there um all the single moms sending one out especially to all you you guys are the real MVPs. Nobody knows what you go through on a daily basis just to wake up and make it to where you can lay your head down again at night. Um, so sending one out especially to you. Um, my fiance is a single mom. Um, sending out Happy Mother's Day to my mom. Sending uh, out a Happy Mother's Day to my mom. Um, She's the number one Salt Marsh Sunday fan. She um, she loves watching. She follow along, follows along to every single uh, snap that I post. Um, she gets to watch and feel a part of um, because she's not able to be here. So sending out a very happy Mother's Day to everybody. So tonight we have, um, we got little bit we have good tides but we got bad wind of course um, so it's gonna be another one of those nights I haven't fished uh, at all during a time that it wasn't windy yet this year it seems like every freaking weekend or every time I can get out fishing it's uh, it's windy and get on to business as usual it's been a busy spring there's been a lot going on so uh, I'm looking forward to things relaxing and getting back to normal. So we're going to be tri chasing striped bass again tonight. So we're just going to see what we can make of it. It's going to be an abridged version this week. I'm looking forward to a normal Sunday where we can get out and do like a full on salt marsh Sunday like usual. Um, I'm going to try a few different areas I haven't been to yet because it seems like every um, all the normal areas it doesn't seem like there's there's a lot of fish around so um, I'm gonna go on the hunt and see what we can come up with but I will check back in as always and uh, we're gonna get going here guys it's blowing like 18 20 sustained we're packing it in this is this is ridiculous i don't know if you can hear that i don't know if you can hear it that's ridiculous i'm not messing with this garbage tonight it's just way too bad i really hope that we can get um uh, some decent weather coming up here because the weather's been absolutely brutal absolutely brutal so Sorry. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Poseidon gives us a break here soon. This is crazy. You hear it? I didn't even. I didn't even make a cast. I didn't even get to where I was going. Yeah, boy. Ah, I couldn't go home. Found a bunch of fish holding deep, man. First cast got thumped. They were short striking the hell out of it. Ended up putting a little procure on. Landed this nice fatty, probably 27 incher, man. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. That's a hell of a nice fish. That's a really nice class of fish right now, I found. Nice. Up on that dart spin. 
Day B thumping, thumping, thumping. Day B thumping, thumping. Yeah! Day B thumping, thumping, thumping. Day B thumping, thumping. Yeah! Sometimes you just gotta switch up the game, I guess, even with the frickin' wind. They've all been close to 27. Ooh, boy, backwater slotties. Fuck yeah, backwater slotties. Oh, man. Damn, boy. Choke that. That's a nice fish there. Awesome. That was a pig. Tearing up some type of bait fish. Alright, guys, I'm heading in because it's windy as hell, it's nasty, really choppy, and it's pitch black. It's hard to see crab pots and all that kind of crap. So I gotta idle, idle back slow. And, uh, I'm just going to pack it in. That was a freaking great, great session for what it was. I was on my way home until I found a deep pocket with some fish and uh, figured I'd stop on it. So, good stuff. I'll, I'll wrap up when I get back home. This is what I'm talking about. So dangerous about running at night. Can't, very, very difficult to see crab pots. Um, the bays are littered with them right now. I actually had a buddy that just did some severe damage to his uh, engine from from hitting a crab pot in the water. So that's what I'm talking about. You got to be very, very careful navigating at nighttime. All right, guys. So quick little wrap up. Um, just got back into the truck. Um, so <clears throat> the wind was really bad when I first went out. Um, the flats fishing just wasn't happening. As soon as, as soon as I got going, like right after I posted the story of me picking up and running, literally it started blowing like 18, 20 miles an hour sustained. So, uh, I kind of gave up and figured I'd head back in um and check i guess one last spot i don't know what made me do that um i just wasn't ready to go in yet i really didn't get a chance to spend much time on the water this weekend so checked out a spot uh found fish uh holding deep uh in a nice deep little pocket and from the first cast boom got thumped second cast boom 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 got thumped three times they kept short striking it um so i broke out the uh pro cure um and i will tell you this the pro cure is what converted short strikes into being able to put fish on the boat tonight um i think i got seven or eight tonight and the ones that i got were really nice size they were all just under keeper size with one that was definitely a slotty um so that is awesome but um yeah basically it just had like um you know like a a plan b since plan a wasn't going to work out clearly and it ended up happening which is awesome but yeah so th that is the one thing that uh, i i don't know whether you guys believe in sense procure whatever procure made a believer out of me last year when things got tough that is the only reason 
I was able to put catches on the boat um, some nights. And tonight um, was a prime example of why that stuff works. So if you haven't yet, check it, check them out. Uh, I'm not sponsored. They don't give me anything for free, but it's just a product that I believe in. So uh, go pick yourself up some Procure and and you'll see if you're getting out in front of fresh that are finicky and not chewing, that will convert <clears throat> into catching, you know, being able to put some. So hopefully next week the weather's going to be nice um, and we can get out and fish the flats because um, it's been very difficult this year with weather. Seems like every time I get a chance to do it, the weather's blowing. So. Uh, that's about it. Hope everybody has a safe week. Again, happy Mother's Day. Um, big shout out to all the moms out there. And big shout out to my mom. She's probably watching. Like I said, she's um, she's the number one fan of Salt Marsh Sunday. It's, um, so it's always nice that she gets to watch what I do out here. Um, but that's it. All the other moms, I hope you had a great day. And uh, that's it. I'll catch up with you next week. What you think? What you think of Salt Marsh Sunday, huh? Is it pretty good? I think it was my lucky Starless socks that did them. What do you think? Was it my lucky Pekingese socks? Huh? You like them? They pretty good. Huh? Was it my lucky Peak socks? Oh yeah. Huh? Was it pretty good?